Hi, I'm Debbie Cushing. We are going to do a black horse on a black background, which is a black suede, suede board. It's 11 by 14. We're going to use the black background as part of the horse, and they're going to blend in together. We'll have just a tiny bit of color with brown in the mane and in the eye, and then, of course, the silverish color in the bridle. Um, basically, we'll use lots of white, uh, gray tones in this one. Um, so let's get started. I'm started with white, and I did a line here. This is going to be about the brightest white, almost the brightest white, on the whole thing. So you do this pretty heavy. And there's a little dot right there at the end. And we're going to go ahead with, since we got white, we're going to work on this eye. He has up here where the highlight is of his eye. And we're just going to kind of fill that in lightly. a little lighter out this way, kind of fade it in, and then there's another line of white that comes just a little bit brighter below. And I want to make sure there's a little bit of a white line, really light, right there. And then there's another reflective light right in here. And most of this around the eye is black, so we're going to leave it. That way we don't have to fill it in. And then here, it's just a light. white and I think there's just a little white spot right in here and then I want to take a little bit of sienna brown and the brightest part of the color is going to be let's see right in through here just with the light touch it kind of fades up a little bit and kind of down just a little bit here over it again. And there's a little bit up here. I'm doing this real light. Real light. And it kind of comes up around just a little bit, but real, real light. I want you to just barely see it. And I want to take a little bit of, oh, let's see, Spanish orange. And I want to add just a little bit of yellow in there. You put a little flick over here. Kind 
kind of medium. And I'm going to take my brown again, with Sienna Brown. And go back over that color just a little bit because we still want it to be a brown color, but I'll kind of a highlight in that part. And let's see, I think I want to bring this up just a little bit here. And I want a little bit more orange right in there. So I think I'm just going to bring this down just a little bit more. I'm going to take a touch of powder blue and add to this part of the eye on the white. So there's just a hint of blue. Maybe a little line underneath. And there's a line just barely going to see, and we're just going to do it real light. This is outlined in his eye, her pupil, or. And then there's another little white speck that kind of comes in right there. I'm going to bring my brown down just a little bit more. And I'm going to take, well, let's start off with 50% um, cool gray. And I want to lightly fill in, I guess, what would be the eyelid. Just light, light, and it kind of fades out just a little bit, and then I'm leaving a little bit of the black between this white and the, where I'm doing the gray. This is 50% cool gray. And it comes up into just a not quite a point but just a square end I guess and I'm going to take a little bit of white now uh, let's go with 10% uh, cool gray and I want to kind of add just a highlight line right there Kind of highlight that top of the lid and maybe make a few little darker specks just kind of here and there along there to really highlight it. A little highlight mark back here. And go back to the 50% cool gray. And we're going to add one of the first little, I don't know if you want to call them wrinkles or lines under the eye. We're going to kind of fade out as we go back towards the back here. And a little heavier. When we get to the front, and press just a little bit harder towards that to kind of put a highlight in that. This kind of comes down to this little area here. And 
then we have another wrinkle. Let's see. We have another wrinkle that's just below that one. I'm using, instead of going back and forth, or in circles, I'm kind of going back and forth. That way the fur growth is going this way. And this one is kind of right under there. It kind of fades up right in through here. It kind of fades up back toward that way. And then we'll add another little lump. right in through there and then from this little lump it goes really close to this line here that's in the middle now lines kind of down to fill in a little bit of that black between those two lines. A little heavier there. And I've kind of got a line right there. And just take this really light and make a thin little line that kind of curves. That's an eyelash or an eye hair that's coming out. And there's another one here. And we've got one coming down here. And there's kind of a hair that comes out here. And then we have one more little line here. We're still using the 50% cool gray. Kind of comes out a little wider. And it kind of comes down a little bit. take 90% cool gray. I kind of messed up here. This should be just a little bit darker. Kind of almost like a little triangle here. It comes across. Okay. Um
We'll continue to use this 50% gray. We kind of highlighted this. There's going to be a little bit lighter touch here. We've got a piece of black in there in between. So that's the wrinkle inside. And I want to fill in an area about like so with this. Really, really light touch. And then I'm going to take the 10% cool gray. I'm just kind of going to add some little dots. Up in here. And then I'm just going to put some light slash marks or downward strokes. Kind of randomly. And back to the 50% cool gray. And I want to work real light here. I'm kind of outlining really light right here because this is all going to stay black. So I want my outline to be kind of like that. The bad thing about the black is that you can see all the little speckles. And then we're going to fill this part in, or not that part, but the outer part, with the gray. And I'm going to use strokes going mm, not quite sideways, but just about sideways with a downward, like off to this side. For the, for, for the, the hair growth that's going on right here. And I'm just doing lines close together. And it fades out as you're coming towards the inside where this black is at. Let's see. Oh, the black's down here. Uh, so I guess this is all filled in. I'm trying to remember all my spots here. If you need to, you could turn it upside down and work that direction. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's take white. He's got a little bit of white right up in here. So let's go ahead and put that white white in. And it 
comes up quite a ways. Is some light lines and some heavy lines. You want to make sure your pencil stays really sharp. So sharp and often. And we'll bring out a few hairs along the way. Make some of them stand out to kind of more gather down here in a bunch. It's going to be somewhat brighter down here. And just go ahead and put a few random ones here and there. Okay, now back to the 50% gray. Go ahead and sharpen my pencil again. Oops. Maybe. tip off. I guess it helps if I use the right side of the pencil sharpener. And these hairs, this is about the middle of the forehead. So you kind of got a spot here, so your hair is going to go out like in a round circle and going up and out. So go ahead. And do that. So you'll have the direction of your fur, hair. Going in those directions. really light to get up in here. I'll go ahead. There's like a strand of mane that comes down. Kind of bring down several of them. 